What's going on, gang? Paul Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Knight Turbo Changer Knight Armor figures. These are the three first Knight Armor figures we're getting in the in the Last Knight wave. We got Bumblebee, Prime, and Grimlock. We're going to take a close-up look at each one of them, and then we're going to show you the gimmick, which is pretty simple. Starting off with Grimlock, I'm not sure what color this is. It's kind of a purplish-gray, silver, and some charcoal black. The overall aesthetic is not very good, but I do like the head sculpt. It is probably the most movie-accurate head sculpt we've got for Grimlock. The other thing I do like about the aesthetic is the dinosaur eyes are on the inside of the dinosaur's heads. So I do like that shoulder-wise. His gimmick is activated be via a button on the tail back here. Though the shoulder pads, you kind of want to push them down a little bit. Push the button. And he gets an armored thing. That's one heck of a helmet. Kind of looks like the crown of Galvatron, in all honesty. It's not the best coloring, but it's the most dynamic coloring on the figure as a whole. I get what they're going for. Not sure they succeeded, but I get what they're going for. Grimlock's transformation is very simple. Turn the feet around so the dino feet are pointing forward. Grab the tail and the helmet. Flip the helmet back. Grab the tail, unpeg it from the back, and then fold the tail down and snap it into place. And then you end up with this little dinosaur. It's okay. It's... Man, I, I still... I do not know what this color is. It... If I could identify the color, I would probably... I might like it more. I doubt it. It's not the best thing in the world. I missed gold Grimlock. Though he does glow in the dark under black light, so there, there is that. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys, but it's not a very good dinosaur mode. It's okay, and can be ridden by a deluxe class transformer with no problems. So, yay, dino horsey! Next up is Bumblebee, who has an absolutely fantastic head sculpt. That is a great head sculpt on Bumblebee. His mask gimmick or helmet gimmick is activated via this black button. And he gets a Viking-ish helmet in powder blue. Even though powder blue is not on the figure anywhere else. The overall aesthetic of the figure is quite good. And I think it works better than Grimlock. The silver, gray, black, and yellow work well. Though the overall figure is kind of bad. And I forgot to show you on Grimlock, but the elbows bend. That is the only articulation on all of these figures are going to get. Transformation is very, very simple. You can leave the mask or helmet folded up, take the shoulders, push them up towards Bumblebee's head, and that will collapse the legs and flip down the chest. And then you come around and smash the legs into the body, and you end up with the Camaro mode. It's okay. It's not awful. It just lacks any real detail. It, too, can be, you know, ridden by a deluxe-class Transformer. Though not as successfully as Grimlock, it still can be ridden, technically. That's really dumb. Last up is Prime, and he's very, very bland. The coloring is this weird, just matte gray, and then there's a shiny silver on his tummy, and then there's the head sculpt, which is abysmal. There's a lot of detail in there, but you can't actually tell it's there. Helmet gimmick is activated by the button in his chest. You get this nice bright red helmet. Will he actually use it in the movie? No idea. Transformation is activated. Transforma Transformation is very, very easy. Turn the figure around and grab the entire top part of the vehicle mode. Lift it up away from the body. That will automatically collapse the legs and the shoulders. Simply flip it around and peg it into place. And that's it. It's an okay truck mode. Obvious robot feet sticking out of the back. Other than that, it just needs paint. And yes, again, a deluxe class figure can ride Prime with no problems. I'm not entirely sure who these figures are for. They are not for fans, because fans or collectors like myself are going to find them simple, boring, 
and not a lot of fun in the least bit. Plus, they're ugly. They are, especially in the case of Grimlock, very, very ugly. And they're not for kids, I don't think, because I don't know if kids are going to like these or have the strength necessary to do some of the transforming. Because Bumblebee and Grimlock both need a bit of strength in order to transform them correctly. So, other than them being a colossal waste of money in my part, being that they were $19 a piece, I don't know what good these are. Sure, maybe some customizers and painters can get a hold of them and do something cool with them, but as they are right now, they're not that much fun, and I can't think of any kid or collector who would want these figures. Now, if you have to have these figures, I actually like Prime the best, then Grimlock, then Bumblebee. But Bumblebee, I think, looks the best, which is just odd. So, gang, I hope you've enjoyed this video review. I would avoid these figures, and even if you've got kids in, in your life, I'm not sure they're going to like them either. So, you know what I'm going to say, gang? Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.